Hello, Model Railroad fans. Welcome to Vintage Road and Rail. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a, another uh, promotional train set that I uh, picked up fairly recently. I uh, got it for a pretty good price. I think it was like 30 bucks. Um, but this one is by Bachman. And as you can see here, it's called the Shopco Express. Um, now, I actually had to look that one up. I mean, if it said Target Express or Walmart Express, I would have known what that was. But I had never heard of Shopco. So, thankfully, uh, we've got the internet and pretty much any bit of information you need is um, a Google search away. And so that's what I did and got a little bit confused, actually. Because when I looked up Shopco, um, what I come to find out was Shopco is a chain of department stores and they're based... Um, out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. In fact, uh, Green Bay, Wisconsin is where their first, uh, first store was opened up uh, in 1962. Uh, but then, when I was looking you know, through the little Wikipedia article that I had found on it, I had noticed there was also a chain of pharmacies that Shopco had called Shopco Express. Um, and they were similar to what you might get with Walgreens or CVS, or at least that's what I could tell by looking um, at the description that they provided on Wikipedia. Uh, they sold like general merchandise, beer, some groceries, uh, pharmaceuticals, stuff of that nature. So it sounded like a Walgreens or a service merchant or a CVS rather. Uh, but anyway, but what didn't jive with me is because I said, oh, well, Shopco Express, this is, must be for their pharmacy store. Well, that opened up in 2007 and that didn't jive because this train set has, um, horn hook couplers which by the year 2000 uh, Bachman had switched over to the easy make couplers and this locomotive has a pancake drive and I w asked a few people that know a little bit more about this than I do online and they said that in the 1990s is when they stopped with the pancake drives so I'm assuming this Shopco Express uh, the Express is just on there kind of like um, they have a a previous video I'd done uh, called the Diesel Express, pretty much the same layout, an F7 or, or F9 locomotive, caboose, um, hopper car, and a box car, and there's also the Hustler Express, I believe it is, which is the same thing, but has, I think, just a little extra track or something, I'm not sure of the difference. So I think this was sold in their regular Shopco uh, shop stores, and it says holiday gifts to go, so probably sold around Christmas. So anyway, um, if anybody has shopped at one of these stores, uh, absolutely in the comments tell me about it. Uh, what do you, you know, what do you think about that store? Uh, because I like to collect these different promotional train sets and such, and I come across some very interesting things from time to time. Uh, I know where I grew up in Tennessee, we had a store called Big K. Uh, do not confuse that with Kmart, because um, I know. Kmart did eventually adopt the Big K, you know, for some of their Super Kmarts, if you will. But Kmart was completely separate for that and eventually bought out by Walmart around about the mid-80s. So, I don't know if they had a train set or not. It'd be interesting if they did. But anyway, so let's take a look at this. Um, and like I mentioned, this is very similar to the Diesel Express that I did a video on uh, probably a couple of three weeks ago. And I'll... Um, link that at the end of the video or maybe up here in the corner somewhere um, and it's very basic and one of the things I appreciate about this is the very small compact box I made note of that with that last train set which you know if this is a Christmas gift it makes it easy to wrap uh, because my daughters for my birthday bought me a couple of old lifelike train sets and they just made a made a show of wrapping it because it would have took so much wrapping paper and was so complicated and they were like you know what he's going to rip it over and any, open anyway so whatever <laughs> so anyway that's enough rambling on my part let's take a closer look at this uh, shopco express uh, train set and we'll start by lifting the box cover off and then we'll just point out what we've got here we've got our basic power supply and then we've got a 36 inch circle of track so there are no straight pieces so your power is going to connect to this um, re-railer here and it uses the same connection thankfully 
as Bachman's current stuff, so I'm not even going to bother taking these items out of the package. Um, I'm going to just use my current uh, track to test it out on. And here's our Santa Fe uh, Streamline Caboose. And we've got a 40 foot Union Pacific hopper car. And over here we've got our 50 foot Shopco Express box car. And that's what makes this unique to this set and makes it a promotional set. Whereas the other one that I have had just like a, a standard uh, Rock Island or the Rock um, box car. And in here we've got our F9 uh, Santa Fe locomotive in the gray and the red. And I know for sure this is an F9, or at least as far as uh, Bachman is concerned, because we've got some paperwork under here. So let's go ahead and set this out of the way. I'm going to remove this hole punch that I was using to kind of prop it up. And just drop that off there. And let's go ahead and carefully, because this is it's a bit old and the sun is taking its toll on it. You can tell by looking at the uh, looking at this plastic here how it's how it's faded out. And you'll see this also has some fading on the other side. I turned it around with its pretty side facing out. So in the paperwork, we get a mail off for one of their catalogs. And then we get some information, some warnings on using the uh, power supply. Then we get our limited warranty card. Probably too late to mail that off. And then, if I can get a hold of it, we've got some assembly instructions. And finally, we got some locomotive details. Uh, this is an EMD F9 diesel. I was looking to see if there was any kind of date on there, but I don't see one. But the nice thing is, is we get a, a good exploded diagram here on the, uh, on the back. And so we can see that we have a pancake uh, motor. And this is how I knew without taking it apart, because this was in the front of the box, and I just moved it all to the uh, inside out of the way. And there's one other piece of information that came with it I thought was really interesting. Um, a lot of train sets will come with some sort of an instructional guide on how to put together the track, how to put the trains on the track, how to run it. Well, Bachman had a Bachman Master Railroader comic. And it's a train set instruction manual, but if you open it up, they've done it like a comic book. And in fact, you can see some of these other simple train sets that I was mentioned. But you got the parents and the kids all happy, bringing everything home, you know, and Bachman showing them how to set it up. And I just thought that was pretty interesting. And I might take some scans of that and uh, make a little slideshow of it and maybe post a quick like 30 second video or one minute video of that if anybody's interested in seeing that. If so, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, try to do that. All right, well let's take our pieces out one at a time. I'll tell you what, while we're doing that, we'll just go ahead and put them on the track. All right, three of these pieces aren't gonna be anything fancy. So we got our Streamline Caboose. It's a Santa Fe. It's all complete. Uh, nothing really remarkable here, but we do have our plastic handrails. We got a little um, a little light here that's kind of molded in. It'd be kind of interesting if someone had the skills to uh, drill that out and make a make an actual light. Got our brake wheel. We got our little smokestack or chimney. And then under here, we've got our horn hooks. We got plastic wheels. We got it screwed on trucks. And we got our molded in detail. All right, so let's just slide that onto the track here. And then let's move to, let's get a hold of it. I'm on out of there. Sometimes I swear they don't want you to get them out. There it goes. 
So we got our little hopper car here. I didn't realize, but the brake wheel has broken off on there. Is it in the... It's not in the packaging, so that must be long gone. But otherwise, it looks to be good and complete. Everything looks nice on it. If my camera will stay in focus. It's been acting up here recently. I miss my old phone. And everything's pretty much the same as what you saw in that caboose. Let's slide that onto the track here. Now, let's go to what makes this set unique, and that's going to be our Shopco Express 50-foot boxcar. And there we see, Shopco Express. And it's done in the Shopco's unique uh, lettering, uh, the way they had the capital K and the O at the end of the shop here. I think they changed that later on uh, to more standard modern text, but um, I think this is what their original logo looked like. Again, if someone's familiar with this store, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that. But we've got our stirrups, our little steps, are intact. We've got our brake wheel. And same story with the trucks and the molded in detail. But on the other side is the ugly side. This has had some sun exposure, so we got some yellowed plastic. So I'm unsure if I'm going to bother to retro bright it or if I'm going to just leave it as is uh, for character, especially since if I want to display it, I can just turn it around to the pretty side, like so. So, not sure what I'm going to do with that, but let's go ahead for the time being and get it on the tracks here. Now, the final piece is going to be the locomotive itself. In here and get that out and I believe I'm trying to see no nope, I think it's just rear wheel drive all right so we've got our F9 Santa Fe locomotive in gray and red it's got some molded in detail um, do we have porthole nope there's no um, plastic there to serve as windows, but we do have it up here for the windshields and the side windows. Molded in detail looks good, but it's nothing to write home about. Uh, nothing is separately applied. Come around to the back, more of the same on the molded in detail. And this does look to be bent in a little bit, so I'm going to be careful with that. I don't know if you can see how this is perfectly straight and this is not. I'm going to try to leave it alone so that I don't have to glue it. And the same as the other side. And in the front, we've got our headlight. And that's pretty much it on the front. And then on the top, we've got our molded in detail. Uh, looks like this is going to be our exhaust fans. We've got our horns. Uh, I believe this is going to be for dynamic braking. If we do not have a steam generator, that's where this would be. And that's pretty much all there is to it. All right, so let's go ahead and slide this rascal onto the track here. It's got traction tires. I can feel the resistance when it... All right, so let's come off of the uh, tripod here. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Just set that right there for the time being. I covered up my power supply. All right, so we're powered on. We're in the forward position. So let's see if she runs. Uh, the seller that I got this from uh, said he tested it and it works. So let's see if he was telling the truth. Well, our headlight works, so we got that. And we got movement. And I hung up on something. So it is moving, and it actually goes fairly slow. cars forward a little bit. Let's go backwards and see how we do. Ah, all right. Yeah. We're doing just fine. All right, so we're hooked up to our cars. So let's give it some power.
All right, she's running pretty good. Got a fairly decent slow speed. Let's see how it goes all the way around. Let's see if it gives me any hiccups. Seemed like the coupler was trying to snag on one of the uh, on the switch here. So let's see how it does coming back around. A little stuttery there. Let's give it a little bit more juice. Pick up the speed a bit. There we go. These old vintage things are meant to go fast. They're half slot cars anyway. <laughs> All right, model railroaders, that's a look at this uh, Shopco Express promotional train set by Bachman. Uh, I'm going to start wrapping up the video, but I will take a few more shots of this after I stop talking. So stick to the end. Uh, but let me know uh, in the comments if you've been to this store, what you think of it. Uh, maybe you have this train set or have seen it. If so, I'd love to hear about it. Um, but that's going to pretty much wrap it up. So if you enjoyed taking a look at this old train set, make sure and hit that like button, subscribe, and I've got a lot more interesting stuff coming up, so hit that notification bell, that way you'll be alerted as to when something new comes up. Alright, well until next video, thanks for joining me, happy model railroading guys, take care.